Hello guys, I hope you all are enjoying my tutorials. Today I am going to start a new tutorial series on basics of Python 3. But uh, I will also keep posting the tutorial on AWS too. So yeah, uh, welcome to part 1 of tutorial series on basics of Python 3. So in this tutorial I am going to discuss the major practical difference between Python 2 and Python 3. So the first uh, is the print function. So let me uh, initiate the interpreter first. So as you can see on my screen, I have two uh, terminal open. So I will start the interpreter for Python 2.x here. And in the right terminal, uh, I will start with Python 3. Oops, Python 3, right? So as I said, the first is the print function. So in Python 2, print does not require the parenthesis. While it throws in syntax error in Python 3, if we miss to put parenthesis. So let's have a look. So if I say print hello world, so it ran successfully. But if I execute the same statement in Python 3, so it says syntax error that is missing, missing parenthesis and call to print. So it is mandatory in Python 3 to and close anything that you want to print uh, within the parenthesis. So, moving along, uh, the second one is division with integers. So in Python 2, it will return the nearest whole number while we divide two integers. While in Python 3, it return the exact value. So let's see what does it mean. So if I uh, say I want to divide 7 by 3, so it will return the nearest whole number so the actual output uh, will be 7 by 3 is 2.333 something so it rounded to the whole number that is nearest that is 2 in this case so if i execute the same operation in python 3 so it will return me the exact uh, value with the floating point numbers so this was the uh, second difference uh, between python 2 and python 3 so you need to take care of such operations if you have in your code while you are porting your code from python 2 to python 3 so moving along uh, the third one is unicode so in python 2 implicit string type is ascii uh, but in python 3 implicit string type is unicode by default and in python 2 bytes and string are treated as same while it is different in python 3 so let's have a look what does it mean so if I say print type of hello world. So it says type string. And if I say print type of bytes of hello world. And it says again it is as, as string, right? So as I said, uh, Python 2 treats string and bytes as the same type as in a string. But if I execute the same statement in Python 3, so let's see, what does it give? So print type hello world, it says string, that's true. And if I say print type bytes of hello world, it says bytes, right? So Python 2 treats uh, normal string and byte string as a string and python 3 trades string as string while bytes as bytes so moving along uh, the fourth one is x range so x range of python 2 now no longer exists in python 3 so in python 2 uh, range basically returns a list uh, while x range returns uh, x range of object right so basically it returns an iterator object and generates the number when needed so x range is basically uh, memory optimized right while in python 3 the range function now does what x range does in python 2 so to keep your code portable uh, we might want to stick to using range instead right so uh, if I try to use for i in x range 
of 5 and let's say I want to print I so it threw an error that X range is not defined right so as I said X range uh, no longer exists in uh, Python 3 so to keep it portable uh, we need to use range so yeah so this was the uh, fourth major difference between python 2 and python 3 right so moving along uh, coming to the uh, taking input from the user so that is raw underscore input and input function so in python 2 raw underscore input function accepts anything and return the input given by the user as a string right whereas input function evaluates the data it received and return it as an integer so let's see uh, what does it mean so if i say uh, inp equal to raw underscore input uh, i'll say enter and if i enter anything here like numbers or string it's going to return me a string of that input and if I change the raw input to input in Python 2 and if I enter the string here then it's going to throw an error right it says name uh, whatever string is not defined but if I enter integer here 1 2 3 and I say INP it says 1 2 3 right so as I said uh, input function evaluates uh, whatever input is uh, given to that variable right or to that function so as I said it throws an exception while we pass anything other than a number to an input function while in python 3 raw underscore input is gone and input no longer evaluates the data it receives right so and as in as we saw in python 2 it evaluates uh, the data right if we enter a string it, it throws an uh, error right while we enter any integer it it won't throw any error right so in python 3 input function now works as raw underscore input right and raw underscore input is gone in python 3 right so you basically you, you always get back a string as we have seen in python 2 right uh, for the raw underscore input so let's have a look in python 3 also so if i say inp equal to input enter no matter uh, whatever i enter it always return me a string so if i enter an integer here 1 2 3 so again if i check so no matter what i enter it's written returning me as a string right so uh, moving along uh, with the uh, another major difference uh, that is error handling so in python 3 while defining the exception as keyword is required uh, seems that uh, you are confused right so let's see an example so if i say try and if I say 1 divided by 0, right? And if I say accept, uh, I say exception, comma, error. And if I say print, error. So it, it successfully threw an exception, right? And without throwing any syntax error. While if I uh, manage to do the same in Python 3, let's see what happens if i say 1 divided by 0 and if i say accept exception comma error so it says uh, invalid syntax right so as i said here we require the as keyword so let's see what does it mean if i say try 1 divided by 0 so while defining an exception accept exception as so we need here we require this as keyword right as error and i will say 
and error. So uh, this is how the exception works in Python 3 as compared to Python 2 since uh, the as keyword is mandatory in Python 3 right so uh, yeah so there are uh, also other uh, minor changes but uh, these were the major changes that I wanted to touch upon so last but not least uh, kind of motivation to uh, move from Python 2 to Python 3 is Python 2 is formally ending in 2020 right and Django is also dropping support for Python 2 in 2020. So I do recommend you to move or port your code base to Python 3 until and unless you have some major challenges like the company you are working for have the legacy code in Python 2 or you are relying on some third party modules that don't yet have full support for Python 3, right? or maybe the third party libraries um, but if you are just starting with python then start with python 3 so well uh, that's it for now in the next tutorial uh, we will start with basics of python 3 so if you have any questions or comment then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time